Piers Court, 27th July 1952. Uh, dearest Nancy, I am not greatly troubled by fans nowadays. Yes, less than one a day on the average. Uh, no sour grapes when I say they were an infernal nuisance. Yes, I divide them into the following categories. A, uh, humble expressions of admiration, um, to which a postcard saying, I am delighted to learn that you enjoyed my book, E, W. B, uh, impudent criticism. <laughs> no answer. <laughs> C, uh, boors who wish to tell me about themselves. Uh, postcards saying, thank you for your interesting letter, E, W. D, technical criticism, e.g., uh, one has made a character go to Salisbury from Paddington. Uh, postcards, uh, many thanks for your valuable suggestion, E.W. E, uh, humble aspirations of would-be writers. If attractive, a letter of discouragement. If unattractive, a postcard. F, requests from university clubs for a lecture, printed refusal. G, requests from Catholic clubs for lecture, acceptance. H, American students of creative writing who are writing theses about one and want one, virtually, to write these theses for them. <laughs> um, printed refusal. Tourists who invite themselves to one's house. Um, printed refusal. J, manuscripts uh, sent for advice, uh, return without comment. I also I have some postcards with my photograph on them, which I, uh, I sent to nuns. <laughs> yes. uh, in case of very uh, impudent letters, for married women, I, um, I write to the husband <laughs> and, uh, yes, warning him that his wife is attempting to enter into correspondence with strange men. Uh, oh, of course, uh, K, uh, autograph collectors, no answer. <laughs> L, uh, Indians and Germans are asking for free copies of one's books. No answer. <laughs> M, uh, very rich Americans, a uh, polite letter. Yes, they, they are capable of buying hundreds of copies uh, for Christmas presents. Yes, I think that more or less covers the field. Love, E.